The diagram is a graph of the relation y is equal to x squared minus x minus 2. Find the range of values of x for which y decreases as x increases. This is a multiple choice question. And so we will solve the question and after that we will pick the correct option. The question says we should find the range of values of x for which y decreases as x increases on our graph we can see that the values of x increases as we move in this direction that is from left to right as we move from left to right along the x axis the values of x increases moving from left to right we can see that the curve starts at this point when we start at this point and we move from left to right we can see that the values of y reduces. It continues to reduce until we get to this point, which is the turning point. So from this point to this point, as the values of x increases, that is as we move from left to right, the values of y reduces. So at this point, we can see that the value of y is 17. When it comes here, it's 10 here is 4 here is 0 so you can see the values of y reduces as we move from left to right that is as the values of x increases it reduces from this point up to this point which is the turning point right after the turning point we can see that the values of y begins to increase so the curve rises again we are looking for the range of values of x for which y decreases or y reduces as x increases and we have seen that it will be the values of x between this point and this point so we need to get the s coordinate of these two points the s coordinate of this point is negative 4 and the x coordinate of the turning point when we trace it to the x axis i'm having 0 0.5 so between negative 4 and 0 0.5 as the values of x increases, the values of y decreases. So the range will be values of x that are greater than or equal to negative 4, but less than or equal to 0 0.5. Between negative 4 and 0 0.5, as the values of x increases, the values of y decreases. When we look through the options given to us, we can see that the correct option is A x is greater than or equal to negative 4 but less than or equal to 0 0.5 a bag contains five red and three green identical balls if two balls are selected at random one after the other with replacement find the probability that they are of different colors so we have this bag that contains five red and three green identical balls so it means that the total number of balls will be the number of red balls which is five plus the number of green balls which is three and that will give us eight so in total we have eight balls in the bag and these balls are identical the question tells us that two balls are selected at random one after the other with replacement that means that after selecting the first ball we will drop it back into the bag and then we will select the second ball so at every instance the number of balls in the bag will be eight because after selecting the first ball we will drop it back into the bag and then we will select the second ball the question wants us to use this information to find the probability that the two balls that will be selected are of different colors if the two balls are of different colors then it means that you see that the first one is red and the second one is green or the first one is green and the second one is red so the probability that the two balls selected are of different colors is equal to the probability that the first ball is red and the second ball is green or the probability that the first ball is green and the second ball is red and so to get this probability 
we have to find the probability that the first is red and its multiplication so times the probability that the second is green or or its addition so or plus the probability that the first is green and which is multiplication times the probability that the second is red so let's find these probabilities let's begin with the first one the probability that the first is red in the back we have five red balls and a total of eight balls so the probability that the first is red will be equal to the number of red balls which is five divided by the total number of balls which is eight so the probability that the first is red is five divided by eight times now we have to find the probability that the second is green remember that we are selecting the two balls one after the other with replacement so it means that after selecting the first ball we will drop it back into the bag and then we will select the second ball so by the time that we'll be selecting the second ball the number of green balls in the bag will be three and the total number of balls will be eight so the probability that the second ball is green will be three divided by eight this is the first instance we have all here so plus now let's go to the second instance the second instance is that the first is green and the second is red we are selecting a green ball the number of green balls in the bag is three the total number of balls is eight so the probability of selecting a green ball will be three divided by eight times let's find the second one which is the probability that the second is red as we have seen here we are selecting the two balls one after the other with replacement so after selecting the first green ball we will drop it back into the bag and then we will select the second one so it means that by the time that we'll be selecting the second one the total number of balls in the bag will be eight and the number of red balls will be five so the probability that the second is red will be the number of red balls which is five divided by the total number of balls which is eight so the probability that the first is green and the second is red will be 3 divided by 8 times 5 divided by 8. When we do this, we are going to have 15 divided by 32. So what it means is that the probability that the two balls that we will select have different colors is 15 divided by 32. The sets A, which has the members 2, 3, and B, which has the members 2, 4 are subsets of the universal set U with members 1, 2, 3, 4. Find A complement union B complement, where A complement and B complement are the complements of A and B respectively. This is a multiple choice question, and so we will solve the question, and after that, we will pick the correct option set a has the members two three and set b has the members two four and they are subsets of the universal set u with members one two three four the question wants us to find the members of a complement union b complement so you will find the members of a complement and then we will find the members of b complement then we will put them together to get A complement union B complement. The members of A complement will be the members in the universal set that are not in set A. The members in set A are 2, 3. The members in the universal set are 1, 2, 3, 4. The members in the universal set that are not in set A are 1 and 4. So it means that the members in a complement will be 1 and 4. In the same way, the members in B complement will be the members in the universal set that are not in set B. The members in set B are 2 and 4. The members in the universal set are 1, 2, 3, 4. The members in the universal set that are not in set B are 1 and 3. 
So the members of B complement are 1 and 3. We now have A complement and B complement. To get their union, we will put the members together. We have 1, 4 here and 1, 3. So A complement union B complement will be equal to 1, 3, 4. When we look through the options, we can see that the correct option is A. Make out the subject of the relation V is equal to 1 divided by 6 pi h into bracket 3r squared plus h squared. This is a multiple choice question and so we will solve the question and after that we will pick the correct option. The relation given to us is V is equal to 1 divided by 6 pi h into bracket 3r squared plus h squared. We want to make r the subject. Let's begin by multiplying both sides by 6 to cancel out the fractions. So I'll multiply the left hand side by 6 and so we have 6 times v and then I'll multiply the right hand side by 6 and so we have 6 times 1 divided by 6 pi h into bracket 3r squared plus h squared. When we do this, we can see that 6 and 6 cancels, and so we will be left with 6 times v, which is 6v, and on the right hand side, we will have pi h into bracket 3r squared plus h squared. Let's expand the bracket. When we expand the bracket, we are going to have 6v is equal to pi h times 3r squared will give us 3 pi h r squared and pi h times h squared will give us pi h cube. I want to make r the subject, so I will bring pi h cube to the left hand side. When I do that, I'm going to have 6v minus pi h cube is equal to 3 pi h r squared. I'll divide both sides by 3 pi h. So I'll divide the left hand side by 3 pi h and divide the right hand side also by 3 pi h. When I do that, you can see that 3 pi h and 3 pi h will cancel. From fractions, we know that 6v minus pi h cube divided by 3 pi h can be written as 6v divided by 3 pi h minus pi h cube divided by 3 pi h. And this will be equal to r squared because 3 pi h and 3 pi h has been cancelled out. So we have r squared is equal to 6v divided by 3 pi h minus pi h cubed divided by 3 pi h. We can see that pi and pi will cancel each other out. We have h here. On the numerator, we have h cubed. So this h will cancel one of them and so we will be left with h squared. And so this will give us r squared is equal to 6v divided by 3 pi h minus h squared divided by 3. We want to make r the subject and r is a squared so we will take square root of both sides. So we take square root of the left hand side and we take square root of the right hand side. This will give us square root of r squared is equal to square root of 6v divided by 3 pi h minus h squared divided by 3. Square root of r squared will give us r. When we look at what we have under the square root sign, we can see that 1 divided by 3 is a factor of both terms, so we can factor it out. When we factor it out, we will have square root of 1 divided by 3 into bracket 6v divided by pi h minus h squared. So r is equal to square root of 1 divided by 3 into bracket 6v divided by pi h minus h squared. When we look through the options given to us, we can see that the correct option is d. A box contains 5 red, 6 green, and 7 yellow pencils of the same size. What is the probability of picking a green pencil at random? This is a multiple choice question. And so you solve the question and after that we will pick the correct option. In the box, we have 5 red, 
six green and seven yellow pencils so it means that the total number of pencils is equal to five plus six plus seven and this will give us 18. the probability of picking a green pencil at random is equal to the number of green pencils in the box divided by the total number of pencils the number of green pencils is six so the probability of picking a green pencil at random is equal to the number of green pencils which is six divided by the total number of pencils which is 18. six divided by 18 give us one divided by three so the probability of picking a green pencil at random is one divided by three when you look through the options given to us you can see that the correct option is b